up in this. All right, guys, well, I'm not seeing a dock, an obvious one anyways. He does have a staircase coming down to those rocks there, but usually rocks like that signify that you got boulders and stuff under, you know, it's not a place to beach. There's no beach underneath that. But maybe around the corner, I'll go around the corner here and see if there might be a beach I can come up to, or we'll get to it somehow, but looks like no dock. over here on the west side this is the peninsula and the lighthouse is right around that corner so it's gonna be a bit of a hike if there is a trail if we can find the trail I should say all right we're drifting in guys trimming up the motor looks like all sand I know wavy adventure all right we got this Okay guys, I think this is the way. It's a nice little bay right behind the lighthouse area. It's all sand. Okay, go. I feel like a castaway. This like sound a deserted island. <laughs> it's just so ideal out here. Beautiful. This has to be it, right? Okay, well, I'm seeing a little trail here. This reminds me an awful lot of the Huron Islands, the lighthouse out there. Link in description. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a little hidden gem, you know, and a trail you got to take to get to it. Oh, I think I see the lighthouse. It's always exciting when you bushwhack and you finally get to one. <laughs> this one, yeah, they actually built from rock they quarried right on locally. So. Okay, guys, I, I popped out of the woods here, and there is someone out here caretaking it or showing it around. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to. Uh, Ask a few questions. Maybe we can learn a little more about this elusive lighthouse we don't hear too much about. So you work for the Park Service? Yes, I do. Yeah. Actually, I'm a volunteer. You're a volunteer. Okay. What's your name? My name is Laura. Laura. Nice to meet you. My name is Brenton. This is Wavy Gravy, the spoiled brat beagle. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a five-minute synopsis of the history of this lighthouse? Oh, my gosh. That won't even take that long. <laughs> it was established. It was built in 1881 of locally quarried stone, so they were shipped it out here, built it. Uh, when they started, when the shipping, the roofing there on the eaves. Look at that. Look at that shelf that goes out there. I don't know if you can see that, guys, on the film or not, but you probably can. That's kind of like how 14 Mile Point lighthou Lighthouse is also. It has a shelf that goes out that you can kind of just slowly walk out into the lake. Guys, we are luck out. We're going to... Oh. Stop it. Well, if you insist on going, then go. <laughs> should be a husky the way she wants to pull. Oh, I know. She wants to be a sled dog. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be... Oh, it's all original, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the original iron door. Spiral staircase. Let me see if I can get a view of that. Oh yeah. Go, 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 go. You gonna go up or not? If you're not, then I'm gonna leave you down here at Cole. Come on, Cole. You going up? You insist on going. Go. Those are some of the bedrooms, and they they are mass plaster falling, so not allowed in there. Okay. Oh, I 
I know. Look at the, the thickness right there, like in that window seal there. Yeah. And right behind you or right in front of you. They got these little midget doors, guys. You gotta duck in and go go around. There we go. It's like a little hot house in there. Yeah, it is. I'm afraid of heights here, so I'm gonna stay oh, okay. nice and close. That's all right. <laughs> what would you like to tell us about being up here? Well, this to me is just gorgeous. You can see Minnesota over there. You can see some of the rock formation, some of the oldest rock around. It's about a billion years old. No kidding. It's so old that the, you won't find fossils in it. No fossils. No kidding. No, oh, oh, am I going to carry you? Am I carrying you? I think I probably am. Let me spoil the animal. Okay, can you take it from here? Come on, go. Cool. You got it. Your head there. You got it. Well, that was so cool to meet somebody who's into lighthouses as much as I am. She, enough that she volunteers for the park service to be the caretaker and the, the tour guide for that lighthouse. So it's neat. It, it, you kind of feel like you meet your people. The same with that guy that was at the Raspberry Lighthouse. You could tell he's like, if he had more time and there wasn't another tour right behind me, I could have sat and talked to that guy for hours. And he would have enjoyed it and I would have enjoyed it. So... Okay, guys, we're going to go back to the boat, and then we're going to blast across the water to Devil's Island and get and see that lighthouse. Let's just keep it going. Look at these conditions, guys. It's like glass. We're just going to blast straight over to Devil's Island. over to Devil's Island and the sea caves and the lighthouse. Let's try to find a place to anchor. Close-ups of the sea caves here. 